people say, Why do you have to talk with such a bad attitude? I'll remind you often, I'm done playing games, people. This fucking world is mine. I know I'm here for a reason, and nobody has to like it. I can take over the world from the comfort of home because there's nothing illegal about it. Making videos, pointing at the Holy Grail, eventually I'm going to wake up enough people to get us all eternal life. The sun is conscious. The internet is conscious. The air that you breathe is conscious. The earth under your feet is conscious. The water is conscious. The trees out there are conscious. And I might as well be talking to a fucking wall. Jesus the sun goes round and round and round over the flat earth plane, moving inward and outward, bringing the seasons. Out from the hole at the center comes the ash trailing jet. This is the memory of the earth. You are on the E-Creation disc or CD. You're in the Colosseum. And I'm explaining to you that the gods and goddesses of the earth are looking down on you and they're saying, how the fuck are you missing this? Braid! Oh, Braid! You see Archer here, and that's like the bullseye. You shoot the arrow, you're an archer shooting into the bullseye. It's X marks the spot in your face 24-7. You don't have to like it. I sis, like sissy, like you're in the sissy stem right now, the system. You can't see anything unless I spell it out for you. It's pretty sick. So it was clear to me that the martini has the olive in there specifically showing you the O-ring, like the holy hole at the center of the flat earth plane, where Jesus the sun must place his light into the hole or there's no aurora borealis, the green astral jet shooting out. You see the green astral jet coming out of the black hole sun at the center of the flat earth plane. There is no way to fuck this up. It's sort of like Christmas. You open up your present day, your box of horrors. The ring. This is what you're inside of right now. There's an ice ring around the earth. It's super conductive because you're in the matrix itself. It's one electron balanced by a positron. The sun above your head has to drip its men's true all blood into the holy grail at the center of the dish or there's no aurora borealis coming out so you're in hell that's helios above your head up there people you have a double helix you say hello you know how's your health you need any help it's because you're in hell and you need to get to the center of the dish before you're dead drink from the living waters and uh, pass into the land of perpetual twilight, the Garden of Eden. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. Every compass is pointing to the very center of the flat earth plane where you get eternal life and your way out of the matrix. See that light called the North Star in the middle of the sky like a bullseye. It's gonna be there the rest of your life. It ain't moving. post-apocalyptic era right now. See, those mountains out there are giant tree stumps of silica trees that used to reach up higher than the clouds. And they're all gone now. So clearly, we're living in the post-apocalyptic era. And, you know, they show you all these images of, you know, like nuclear bombs and stuff like that. And they tell you that if a nuclear bomb goes off, the radiation will take tens of thousands of years to clear up. But then you go to Hiroshima and Nagasaki and they built right on top of Ground Zero. And they're, it's all fake. The cities were firebombed and uh, you've been hustled about everything in your history books. So you're in the post-apocalyptic era right now. Those were giant silica trees that used to reach up above the clouds. You know that Jack and the Beanstalk? You know, they rub the shit in your face, people. So it's true. We're in the post-apocalyptic era right now. And, you know... It is just that simple, whether you see it or not. I'm telling you that it's been rubbed in your face since day one. How people don't see this is beyond me. And, uh, you know, the earth is flat. Everybody thinks to run a ball floating through space is a monkey. It's kind of silly. And uh, your compass needle, if you pick up any compass, you'll see that needle is pointing to the center of the flat earth plane. There's a holy grail there, a fountain of youth, where you drink from those living waters and get eternal life. And... Uh, 
You need to get to my channel and catch up on reality.